The Gamo Swarm Magnum Pro Gen 3i. Let's check it out. Today we're going to take a look at the Gamo Swarm Magnum Pro Gen 3i. Long name, but there's a lot of cool things about this rifle. Uh, one of the things I love about air rifles is they are quiet, they're inexpensive to shoot, and they're great to be able to train and really perfect your marksmanship. Uh, that's one of the things that I learned on was a brake action or a brake barrel design and really allowed me to get my techniques down. Uh, this is a state-of-the-art air gun. Gamma's been in business for over 50 years and they produce some really high quality air rifles and pistols. And there's a lot of advancements with the Gamma Swarm Magnum Pro Gen 3. And guys, we want to give a big thank you to GitZone for putting us together with Gamo. And GitZone is one of the biggest Second Amendment video platforms out there. The Gamo Swarm Magnum Pro Gen 3i. This is a brake barrel design. Uh, it has a lot of technology behind it. We're gonna look at a lot of the different features that they offer. This is the Pro model. The original Swarm Magnum had some differences to it. We'll discuss that when we go through all the details. Uh, this is really specifically designed for hunting uh, or for pest control. And that's one of the reasons why I personally like this because of the brake barrel design. It makes it an excellent choice for a survival prepper minded person. The brake barrel design keeps you from being dependent on the compressed air that you're going to need. Uh, even though I love PCP rifles, uh, this makes it really very independent, honestly. And then two, pellets are very soft shooting. And then of course, this has a dampening system, which actually makes it even quieter. Now, Gamo is based in Spain. They're the largest manufacturer of air rifles in Europe, but they also own Daisy air rifles. And so in the back, I have a little Red Rider. Now this one is in 22 caliber. They also make it in 177 caliber as well. I like the 22 caliber a little better. It gives it a little more ump, especially if you're hunting a little bit larger game. And we're getting velocities up to 1300 feet per second. Now the overall length is 49.2 inches, but the barrel is 23.1 inches. Now we do have the Whisper Fusion 3 dampener. Uh, this is their top tier dampener. It actually helps to keep the noise down. It allows for the air to circulate in before it goes out the barrel, so it just kind of quietens things down. Now here on top is the 10X Gen 3i auto-loading magazine. Uh, it is inertia fed, and so we just pull back on the green. You can pull this out, and this is your magazine. You can load each round right here, and it just indexes. And so this is a pretty cool way to be able to get different shots, and it'll show the number of shots back here on the back. But a very cool system and then it just snaps back in. The inertia works once it recoils and the round actually drops down and then it sets into the barrel. And I love that multi-shot capability. It's much better than just a single shot. And a camo scope is included. It is a three by nine by 40. Uh, you have your adjustable magnification right here. And of course you can set your focus here at the back. But the real key to this scope is the recoil reducing rail or the RRR rail. One of the problems with most of your air rifles, especially when it comes to your brake action rifles, is that it's really harsh on your scope. A lot of scopes are mounted directly to the receiver, uh, and so scopes do not usually last that long <laughs> on an air rifle. With the RRR system, you have an aluminum rail here at the bottom, and then when you have your mounting system, it has a pin that comes down and places into the rail. Now that's a big deal because typically when you're firing a rifle with a scope on it, the scope actually will move along the rail. 
with recoil. So it just starts to move. That affects your accuracy and it does affect the longevity of your scope. Gamo states that this reduces 100% of the recoil effect on your scope. And so that's going to give you a lot of confidence, especially when you're out hunting. And of course, you've got your elevation and windage turrets right here for adjustment. It has a nice polymer stock. We have a cheek piece, and it does have texturing here on the side, texturing down here at the pistol grip. Uh, with the original Swarm Magnum, uh, it had a thumb hole stock, and so they've relieved that. They've actually lowered the comb. Uh, because they don't have adjustable sights on here, so you really don't need it to be that high, and it makes it easier to be able to line up with your scope. But guys, putting your hand around it, it's a very comfortable rifle to set at the bench. The stock just nestles right into your shoulder, and it just allows for you to be more comfortable. You're just going to get better accuracy. And then we have a recoil-reducing butt pad that's rubberized on the back. And one thing I really like about this stock are these divots right here. And it allows for your thumb to come up, and then when you bring your trigger finger around, it just rests in the right place. Now, obviously, you can bring it around this way, but it does stretch out the web of your hand. But right here, it gives it such a natural feel to just get to that trigger. And here at the forend, you do have that same texturing. Uh, it's very smooth, but it gives you enough gripping surface just to hold on to it to get it really steady. Now here we have the Gamo Custom Action Trigger, or the CAT Trigger. Uh, it's a two-stage. It has adjustments on both first stage and second stage. The trigger pull is between 3.2 pounds and 2.6 pounds, so it has a really nice trigger to be able to get that good precision. Uh, you also have a safety up front, and this just is easy to engage or disengage. And here you have your adjustment screws for your trigger, and then you have one that goes through the trigger. And of course, with this uh, hole right here, this little relief area, you can get to it uh, for the single stage. Then here, where we have our brake action for the barrel, uh, you can see it's open here, of course, to allow for it to break down. This rifle is not spring-powered. It actually has the IGT Mach 1 insert, which is a gas technology piston. It's 33 millimeters in length. It just allows for much more stable shooting at the bench. The spring can be kind of harsh. I've had the spring systems and they are. So this actually uses ambient air, enters the cylinder, and then when you pull the trigger, it releases. And the metal parts from the receiver onto the barrel, of course, they're all steel and they have a nice hot salt bluing finish. You pull back on the tabs and the magazine comes right out. Pick your pellet, place it down in it. Again, make sure it's flat and then you're ready. We've got 10 pellets in here. Put it back in, just start from the back and then just snap it into place. Stock is very comfortable to get behind. Um, you know, it just allows you to really nestle in to get comfortable. Uh, I like the texturing on here, even on the cheek piece. Just gives you a little bit of resistance scope it's not a bad scope three to nine uh, it's a gamo scope uh, i love the mounting system i think that's a big plus it keeps it from shifting i like the way the magazine loads i mean it takes a little while to get used to and you want to make sure you kind of get those pellets down there's a little bit of a detent where you push it down and then it holds it into place so uh, we've had no malfunctions no misfeeds i mean it's shot every time and you don't want to have misfeeds with an air rifle like this and quiet, super quiet. That dampener really makes a big difference. Overall, you know, it's just a great shooting little rifle. Now, it does take a little bit of strength to break the barrel down. Uh, you just get a hold of it, but the best place is to grab at the end of the barrel to get the most leverage, and then you can do it. Uh, if you're used to just shooting center fire, uh, this is a little different because you have that break in between, but you don't have to reload every time. So it just gives you a little bit more advantage. Beautiful rifle though, and it shoots really well. Guys, overall, the Gamo Swarm Series is excellent. Uh, with the Magnum Pro, you're getting a lot more advantages. And then of course, with the 10X, you have that inertia-fed magazine. Uh, it just gives you more time for shooting. And then also with this recoil reducing rail, which that pin coming down, it really stabilizes the scope, but it keeps it from damage and it keeps it on target. 
the very ergonomic stock system. Uh, it's very comfortable to get behind. Trigger is excellent. And of course, you can adjust that two-stage trigger. Dampening system also keeps it really quiet. So great again for hunting, uh, great for pest control, or just to have fun taking it down to the range. And you can really get your basics down for marksmanship when you have a good air rifle. And they're cheap to shoot. Now the retail price is $319, but a lot of times with other dealers, you can get it for less. Guys, if you're looking for a state-of-the-art air rifle, whether in 22 caliber or 177, the Gamo Swarm Series is excellent. Of course, you know, there's so many different choices. With a Magnum Pro Gen 3i, I mean, this is the top of the food chain. And again, guys, I love the brake action because, you know, it's just easy. You're not dependent on compressed air and it just allows you to be able to hunt, to get past, just to improve your trigger control, and it just gives you a lot of advantages over even centerfire rifles in especially a grid down situation. And again, we want to give a big thank you to GetZone.com for putting us together with Gambo. Check out GetZone.com. It is an excellent Second Amendment friendly video platform. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. back in start from the back the gamo swarm magnum pro gen 3i let's check it out uh, we have a magazine right here so we can just pop this and it okay today we're gonna take a look at the gamo swarm magnum today today we're gonna take a look and it's not gas i mean air is gas but 